Welcome to Coffee Break. My name is Michael Moret. I can remember when I was younger, even through my probably early 20s and 30s. But from the time I was really young, my dad was a big boxing fan. So we used to watch boxing together every Saturday on the uh, ABC Wide World of Sports. Some of you remember that. If there was boxing on, believe me, we watched it. Or any other time there was boxing on television, we watched it. And I remember my dad telling me something. We'd be watching a boxing match, and, and he would notice a cut over one of the boxer's eyes. He said, now, might watch, because the other guy is going to keep pecking away. He's going to keep jabbing at that cut and trying to open it up. Because if he can open it up, the blood would stream into his eyes, and referee will stop the fight. Technical knockout. Well, that's how a smart boxer does his work. And that's how Satan is, too, because he's smart. He looks for an opening. He looks for a place in your life where you have not surrendered it to God. Which is why the Bible says, be sober, be, jil be vil vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. You know, he devours you. He sees a weakness, a weakness being some area of your life that you have not committed to God. You have, you have allowed Satan to have control in that area of your life by tolerating some sin. And he sees that as an opening, as a cut above your eye, and he'll jab and jab and jab until that sin has control of you and you lose your fellowship with God, you lose your usefulness to God. And eventually, if you don't repent, and it gets harder to repent, you end up losing your faith. Satan will exploit any weakness that we have. So we have to be sober. We have to be village, diligent, sorry. Not to allow sin to control any area of our life because that gives the devil a foothold and he will use it to his advantage, believe me. This has been Michael Moret with another coffee break.